Welcome back to Atlanta Football. Today, we are talking about how the New Orleans Saints win the 2024 NFL Draft. Seven rounds for you guys today. I'm giving you the whole shebang. Let's do this thing and dive straight into it. Guess who's on the clock at 14? It's the Saints. Let's bring it into the draft and see how the board falls to them. So, I'd like to address the elephant in the room. We need a quarterback, and we are behind two teams who also need a quarterback. Sorry, sorry. Three teams, and they need a quarterback. And, of course, like, they're all going to get theirs up here. So, weird scenario here for the Saints. They got pick 14, 45, and then 150. So, the capital this year is not quite it. I ain't going to lie to you. Those top 100 picks are lacking. Are we missing a third and a fourth rounder? Dear goodness, that's ridiculous. So, we're probably not going to trade up because we're not going to be able to beat out the Vikings who are trading 23 and 11. Point in case, let's get it going. We're going to have to sit at 14 and see what falls to us. So that's what we're going to do today. Let the clock run. Let's watch the board fall. Caleb, May, Marvin, Rome, Malik, all three wideouts go. Jaden Daniels, Joe Alt, Brock Bowers, Quinion Mitchell, Tylese, Arnold, Turner, McCarthy. Here we are. We can get the quarterback of our choice, but I think that's kind of silly, in my opinion. There's a chance, very small chance, one of them is there at 45. We could always trade up a little bit too. But I'd rather take somebody we really, really need. So we're not going QB quite yet. Receiver, we could go Brian Thomas Jr. I think that's kind of a reach a little bit in my opinion. And more importantly, you can get a wide out later. There's lots of depth in this class. But what we need to do is get a D lineman or a tackle. The D lineman will be there at pick 45, I guarantee it. But I know, I absolutely know the tackle run in this class. This tackle class just gets evaporated in the first round. So we need to get the player that we want while we can. And Olu out of Penn State, if he slides to 14, that is a killer selection here for the Saints. They need him for sure. He is so freakishly athletic. Olu, welcome to the Saints. I will see you guys around 45. Maybe we trade up for a QB. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Saints fans, we are back on the clock in the second round. 13th in the second round. Who do you want to take? We need D-line, wide receiver. We got our tackle. We're feeling good there. Or a quarterback. And guys, look who slid all the way here. Michael Penix Jr., ridiculous arm talent. Injury concerns across the board. We know that. That's why he's getting picked here and not in the first round. So there's risk with it, but a phenomenal player nonetheless. Or we go a safe pick in a D-line like Chris Braswell. Or we go with uh, a Ricky Pearsall, a Burton, or a Keon Coleman. And I think even Worthy's on the board. Let me show you the wide receivers across the board. Yeah, we got Burton, Pearsall, Coleman, Polk, Leggett, McMillan, Worthy. And then it's kind of a drop-off to the next year with Walker and Baker. So... Lots of talent here, but we're not picking again for another 105 picks. Goodness me, that's a lot of picks. So we got to make this one count. Above everything I was just talking about in all these positions across the board, there is a very rare chance we find a quarterback the caliber of Michael Penix Jr. this year or next year in the draft. The Saints, they're not a horrible team, but they're not great. You know what I mean? So they're going to be picking again in the middle of those rounds. That's not how you get a quarterback. Well, Michael Penix Jr. with his injury concerns gives us a shot to have a good quarterback in the second round. Yes, there is risk, but you got to roll the dice to be great in the NFL. And I think there is real arm talent here that could truly help the Saints in the long term. He does not have to start immediately, and that's going to help him a lot as well. Michael Penix Jr., we're taking you here to be our new future quarterback of the New Orleans Saints. These Saints are back on the clock all the way at 150. Look at all these picks in the back of the 100. That's actually kind of crazy lots of value here they're not going to be great players obviously not day one starters but these will be good developmental players that could start down the road now we need to address the line badly we've got a quarterback we got our tackle we could also let's see what we got a wide out just to take a look you got Taj Washington you got uh, Anthony Gold I think he'll be there in a couple picks as well let's wait on wide out at least one more pick but we do need to address the line immediately I think it's either going to be Logan Lee out of Iowa or Makai Wingo. Let's go with Makai Wingo, the LSU man himself. He's going to drive right down the road to his new facility. Welcome, Wingo. You are a New Orleans Saint. Now, here we are. We have picked 168 and 170 pretty much back-to-back, -back, and then 175. Tons of talent here. Let's look at who we want to get. I think our best plan of attack is to A, get one wide receiver at least minimum on this team from the draft class, and just stack the D-line from there, and maybe the best player available we can find also on the board. So, one, I'm going to take... Let's, let's look at D-line. Let's look at D-line. Let's take a peep. Let's take a peep. we got the edges. we got the interior. Miles Murphy, McGregor, and Harrell. Let's go with Murphy. Let's get some more D-line depth in there. Very nice. Very nice. What about now? Let's go check it out again. I'm going to double dip into D-line again and take... Let's take... Uh, let's go with Harrell. Jalen Harrell out of Michigan. Very nice. We're building up that D-line. Now... 
I think we need to take a wide receiver before we go about 15 picks later. Let's take a peek at who we got. Casey Washington, very good player right here. I think I'm going to go with Casey, and if not, I might go with Anthony Gold. I'm going to go with Anthony Gold for this pick. I like him just a little bit more personally. Let's go with Anthony Gold for the Saints. I'll see you guys at pick 190. We are back on the clock with three picks left, and a position to need is right in front of us, who was also kind of the best player available. I've taken a lot of D-line, but I'm not afraid to take another. Let's take Jordan Jefferson out of LSU. Let's just take all the LSU interior D-line. Let's just keep going. And then 199, we got enough D-line. we got like four of them now. We're feeling good. Who do we want to take next? From here, I'm going to grab... Let's get a backup center out of Penn State. Hunter out of Penn State. Big fella. Let's make it happen. Welcome to the squad. And then for our final pick at 239, who are we taking? For our final pick of the Saints draft, we will take Tanner McLaughlin, the tight end. I know he's a tight end. Not everyone loves tight ends, but do what I do. He's got so much potential, and I think he will be great on this team. Welcome, Tanner. You are part of the Saints. Saints fans, this is is my mock draft. What did you think? Let's review super quick. Let's review. We got Olu out of Penn State to sure up that tackle spot because, man, you know we need it. Next, we got our future quarterback in Michael Penix Jr. Yes, there is risk there, but at 45, I will gladly take that value. We might have a real shot at a real franchise QB. Welcome, Michael Penix. Let's make some stuff happen. Then, I just went crazy on D-Lyman. As you can see, we got Wingo, Murphy, Harrell, and then Jefferson. Just took all the value across the board. In the fifth round, I snagged Anthony Gold to just somewhat aid the wide receiver position. For these final two rounds, I was just taking the best value on the board. I took a center out of Penn State, Hunter, and then a tight end out of Arizona, Tanner. These guys are very solid players, and I think they'll make an impact down the road for this team. This is my mock draft. Saints fans, what did you think? Comment below. What would you change? Did you like Olu in the first round? Did you like picking Michael Penix Jr. for 45th overall? If you watch this far in the video, Video and you enjoyed it, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, these seven round mock drafts per team, I'm doing one for every single team in the NFL. So go subscribe down below. I'm bringing you a bunch more content just like this until we hit the NFL draft. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon, not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our QA sessions. And then at our MVP tier, mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five. Five draft day tips and a bonus tip tier based rankings for quarterback running back wide receiver and tight end and of course a one pager cheat sheet so on draft day you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for dynasty fantasy football thank you guys for spending your time with me today on this seven round mock draft i appreciate you more than you know love y'all big time peace now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God Tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God Tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of LSU.